See, right here is where it all began for me in San Diego, right here. How's it going, everybody? Not a sports betting video today, but it's a question I get asked all the time, and that is, what's it like living in San Diego? Well, instead of just answering that question right now, how about I take you on a little tour of San Diego, show you those, then I'll come back and give you my two cents on living here. So I am currently at the San Diego Marriott Marina. This is a hotel we stayed at in 2008 for the Poinsettia Bowl against Boise State. Up until the point I moved here last year, this is all I knew about San Diego is this hotel and kind of the surrounding area. So I still have the main bowl gift we got that year right here with the Poinsettia Bowl logo engraved in the back, if you can see it. But that was 2008. I moved here in February 2019, one year ago. So this right here is the San Diego Convention Center. If you ever want to come to Comic-Con, this is where you're going to be. Now this is a gas lamp quarter. If you're into bars, restaurants, nightlife, clubs, this is your place. But it's not really my scene, so I don't spend any time here. So I'm at Petco Park. Despite me living within walking distance, I've never been to a game here before. I didn't go to a single game here last season. Now I'm going to walk to my apartment. Welcome to my apartment. So let's do a tour of this apartment real quick. So we got the entrance, I got some coat racks, I got a little nightstand. I have half of my recliner I got from the Rose Bowl that I need to move into storage. We got the washer and dryer in here. We got the bathroom. It's a huge bathroom. That was the first thing that I noticed when I moved in here. We got the bedroom. I've been wanting to buy a headboard for this bed for a long time, haven't done it. Got a nightstand, got a TV and a TV stand, got a lamp. I installed these little cubbies with a mirror right here. So I got my high school football memorabilia right in that cubby. Then I got like my college football memorabilia in these cubbies, like my Rose Bowl jersey, Fiesta Bowl jersey, gloves, cleats, all kinds of stuff in there. Got a pretty decent sized closet, you know, I use it for storage and clothes, of course. Okay, so we got the kitchen. So if you've watched my videos, this is where I film the majority of my videos right here. You know, I wish I had a second bedroom so I could set up an actual studio, but I don't have the space for that. So I have to do it right there. I didn't know of a better place. So then we got the living room. I got a couch. I got a 60 inch TV. I got a coffee table. I got my desk with my computer that's facing that ray right now. It's got my frame jersey from TCU. And then if you're ever wondering what these pictures are right here, it's all the cities I have lived in. Fort Worth, Jacksonville, Florida, Anaheim, California, Las Vegas, Dallas, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Seattle, and Louisville, Kentucky. Oh yeah, got this little shadow box from our Rose Bowl team. I am right there, third from the left on the first row, number four. All right, so here is the view from the balcony. You got a good view of the Coronado Bridge. You got the uh, Coronado Islands out in the distance. You can see the Pacific Ocean. Then you got a view of downtown as well. If you look very far out there in the distance, you can see that Marriott Marina Hotel we went to. Got a view of the courtyard below. So here's the deal about apartments in San Diego in general. They're expensive. I mean, the inside of this apartment is nice. It's definitely a higher end apartment, but it's really no different on the interior than the apartment I lived at in Louisville, Kentucky. I mean, the apartment I lived at in Louisville is brand new and it was one third of the cost of this apartment per month. So all the apartments in San Diego are ridiculously expensive. Even the dumps and the places that aren't so nice are still very expensive. And that's why I moved into this place because it's not that much more expensive than the more mid-tier apartments. That's San Diego for you in general. This place is very expensive. Now, is the expense worth it? Well, I'll get to that later on in the video, but let's check out more of San Diego first. <laughs> So I live on a street with a lot of homeless people. Right now it's not too bad because they mostly scatter during the day, but at night this entire street is just lined with tents and homeless people and everything. My car got broken into a few weeks ago and they stole my wallet and license and everything, so I've had to deal with all that lately. So obviously you can see I was able to put my top down on this car on February 1st. Now I feel like there's a lot of stereotypes about the weather in San Diego. Everyone thinks that like every day of the year it's sunny and 75 and while that's the case, most of the time it's not all the time I mean it still does rain it's definitely cloudy some days especially in May oh no oh no 
Yep, this is one of my biggest pet peeves of San Diego and California in general is just how this traffic all hours of the day, even on Saturdays. You need to get on I-5 North and here we go. So where I'm headed right now is what a lot of people think of when they think San Diego, and that is the beach. Now for the most part, there's two beaches that I go to. The first one I'm going to is Mission Bay. Welcome to Mission Bay. Man, that water is freezing. So right now I'm here at Mission Bay. I'm on the bay side. You got the bay side, you got the beach side. Right now I'm on the bay side. get how people can get in the water. I mean, I know it's 80 degrees and everything, but the water temperature still has to be around the 60s. I mean, I'm from Texas though, and I wouldn't even get in the pool unless it was at least 80 degree water temperature, so. Okay, now I'm going to walk over to the beach side of Mission Bay. crowded today. It's a Saturday. It's nice, so it's crowded. So I'm right outside SDCCU Stadium, uh, but this was the site of my first ever bowl game, the Poinsettia Bowl. So yes, there is another beach, but this is Coronado Island, right? And the main reason I come here to Coronado Island is not because of the beach, but because of this park right here, which is called Tidelands Park. So I come here a lot to do my outdoor cardio and running like that. I can see the park from my apartment balcony, so it's pretty close to me. Here's a pro tip, when you're going to Coronado Beach, just park in the residential neighborhoods and walk. And we got Hotel Del Coronado over there. My sister loves that place for some reason. See everything out there on the hillside over there? That's Mexico, that's where we're heading next. We're not going to Mexico, but we're gonna go close. All right, welcome to Mexico. I mean, it's not really Mexico. We're literally right on the border, but it's pretty much Mexico for all intents and purposes. I mean, we got the pedestrian border crossing right there, literally right there. Well, I come here for this outlet mall right here. I pretty much do all my shopping in terms of clothes and stuff right here. You know, a lot of people ask me, do you ever go into Mexico? No, I do not. Because Tijuana is statistically the most dangerous city in the world. Really, the only reason anyone would want to go over across the border over there is for two reasons. Prostitution and drugs. And neither of those things appeal to me at all, so that's why I don't go. Yeah, I think Banana's my favorite store here. 
I mean like literally on the border, like there's the fence right there. All right, so I get asked a lot, where do you go grocery shopping at? There's an Albertsons like two blocks from my apartment, but I only go there for absolute emergencies. I would rather drive 15 to 20 minutes outside the city center and grocery shop for far cheaper than pay that insane markup at the Albertsons by my apartment. Everyone's like, well, you're gonna waste a lot of money in gas. What? I, I, I spend, what, three bucks in gas to drive, you know? Well, here's an example. A can of black beans at the Albertsons downtown is $2.50. A can of black beans at where I'm going right now is 89 cents. So there's already $1.60 saved right there. The place I'm about to show you is what I call a hidden gem in the San Diego area. So where I'm at right now is known as Otai Ranch. This place just feels a lot more open, right? It almost reminds me of home in a way, where I'm from, the Hercules Bedford Grapevine Colleyville South Lake area of the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas. Other people though, it might not be your scene. You might not like chain restaurants and all of that stuff. You might not like that. You might like more uh, walkable neighborhoods, you know, with quirky restaurants and stores, farm to table, organic artisan restaurants and craft breweries and all that type of stuff. You might like that. That's not what this is. If you want that, go to the North Park neighborhood. That's where my gym is in San Diego. It's definitely one of those hipster type neighborhoods. It's impossible to find a parking spot. And the only reason I go there is to go to the gym because the gym I go to is awesome. But I do go grocery shopping here and I'm about to go to the main place I grocery shop. I'll show you that in a second. Look, I know it's a Walmart, okay? But here's the good thing about Walmart. I call it the great equalizer. The prices of the items in this Walmart right here are the same across the entire country. I'll pay the same for the items in here as I would in Kentucky or Texas or Iowa or any of the lower cost of living areas I've lived. Everything is more expensive in San Diego unless you go to Walmart to buy your groceries. All right, well that pretty much wraps up the tour of San Diego for today, so to speak. Now let's go home and wrap it all up. All right, what'd you think? I mean, great weather, good scenery, beaches, all that. Living here must be great, right? Well, not exactly. Here's what I actually think about living in San Diego. Like I said when I was touring this apartment, this apartment is three times what I paid for my apartment in Kentucky and the interior is pretty much the same. So the cost of housing is very high. I don't see how I could ever afford to actually buy a house here. Even if my salary was raised by like 100%, I still would probably not want to buy a house here because it's just too expensive. And it's not just housing that is expensive. You get taxed like crazy here. They take damn near 10% of my income every month out of my paycheck that goes to the state of California. Now I've lived in states with no income tax like Washington, Nevada, Florida, and Texas. And I do not see any difference at all living here paying that 10% income tax than I did in those four states not paying any income tax at all. Now I know what everyone's gonna say, well that 10% you get so much in return. Like what? Like what? My quality of life is not any better or worse than it was in those four states where I didn't pay an income tax. So I did the math. Just on housing and taxes alone, if I had the same exact salary in Nevada, for example, I would save about $30,000 a year just in those two things alone, not counting other expenses. So it is expensive to live here. So that is honestly the biggest con of living here. And for some people, it's worth it. But for me, it's not. You cannot get gas in the city without somebody coming up to you begging for money. The panhandling's out of control. I do miss having seasons. I miss snow. I miss thunderstorms. It never storms here, but you could chalk up the weather as a pro. And if you're a beach person, that's a pro. I try to go to the beach sometimes, but I just hate getting sand everywhere, all on my feet, all on my car, all in this apartment, and I have to vacuum. So when you add all that up, would I recommend living here? It really depends on what your values are and what you prioritize and what you don't prioritize. Everyone is not me. Everybody has different values. It's not as bad as I make it out to be. It's just that when you have to spend so much money to live here, some people might think that's worth it. Some people will pay anything to live here. But for me, I don't think it is, but it all depends on what you value and how much you're willing to pay to appreciate the amenities that San Diego has to offer. And that should give you a good idea of what it's like to live here. And in my opinion, not to be jealous or envious of me. Well, that wraps it up for tonight. Until next time, this is Sports Betting Truth signing off.